ladies and gentlemen, once again, to VCW Wrestling. We are live in the North Ring Masonic Temple. I am Blake Chadwick, as we are on our final stop on the road to the 11th Annual Liberty Lottery. As Jerry Stephanitsis once again brings out his charge, Benjamin Banks, looking as confident as ever as he set to take on one of his biggest foes here to date in VCW. Banks, we've seen fresh off some victories over Limit the Clown. And looking to make a statement here tonight. And really throw his name in the hat as it relates to the 2017 Liberty Lottery match. Stephanitis having some words with the fans here. All oh, ringing out to Brendan Matheny. He's attempting to introduce the opponent of Benjamin Banks, but he's having a difficult time doing so. Introducing his opponent. He hails from Cybertron and weighing in at 275 pounds, the human Terminator, Marcellus The Human Terminator has returned to VCW and he's ready to extinguish Benjamin Banks and Jerry Stefanitas here tonight as the undefeated Marcellus Prime is back in VCW. As look at the physique on this young man. Reminiscent of a former United States Liberty champion in Janus, who took BCW by storm roughly a decade ago. And that's exactly the path that Marcellus Prime is on right now, as he faces a huge test in the form of Big Money Banks. As bell sounds, we are underway. Senior official, Ron Mills assigned to this contest as Marcellus Prime set to go one-on-one -on -one with Benjamin Banks here in the temple. Again, Marcellus Prime undefeated in VCW and a win over Benjamin Banks would surely put him not only into the Liberty Lottery match, but you would have to consider him one of the favorites while well, Banks looks to continue the momentum of his own. As Jerry Stefanitis, the manager of VCW champion for nearly two years in Brandon Scott. And that entire time, Benjamin Banks has been by his side. As these two jaw jacking, and it looks like a test of strength by an overzealous Benjamin Banks here. He does have the weight advantage on Prime, but the power has to lie with the Terminator. As these two connecting, and here we go. A sheer test of power and will between Marcellus Prime and Benjamin Banks. And you can see Banks here wearing him down. But look at the resilience here. And Marcellus Prime until Banks swings the tide right back his way with the knee to the midsection. Sends him for a ride. And the shoulder tackle barely phases Prime. It's like the irresistible force meeting the immovable object as neither man budges. Prime sends him off the ropes. And Banks backs him in, but Prime ducks underneath the clothesline. One more time, builds him up better, and the flying shoulder tackle. Nicely done by Marcellus Prime. As the powerhouse looks to continue on here against Benjamin Banks, while Jerry Stephanitis pops up on the apron 
And that leaves an opening for Big Money Banks to nail him from behind. As Banks chopping away now, Jerry Stefanitz is always playing a factor on the outside. One of the main reasons that Brandon Scott has held on to his VCW championship as long as he has. Banks charges in. Nobody home. Now Prime tries to retaliate. And Marcellus Prime driving those boots right to the midsection. Remember, folks, this is our final encounter here in the Masonic Temple for Vanguard Championship Wrestling before July 29th, 7.30 p.m. bell time, the 11th Annual Liberty Lottery. Special guest WWE Hall of Famer Scott Hall will be on hand, let press two, and Prime kicks out. But it will be a great night of action. We do know Brandon Scott will put that heavyweight championship on the line as long as he is still the champion. If not, the monster Asafi will be defending the title at the Liberty Lottery. But right now, it's time for a money shuffle for Benjamin Banks. Hits the ropes and drives that elbow right into the esophagus. One, two. But does not hook the leg and only gets a near fall. As in addition to that heavyweight championship, Gino will put that Commonwealth Heritage title on the line against Lucha Underground star Ricky Reyes. The 20 man over the top Liberty Lottery Battle Royal where the winner gets a shot at any championship of his choosing within the next calendar year. It's all going down in late July with Prime into the outstretched arms of Banks and the four away slam. And Benjamin Banks right now looks to capitalize. Lionel press one, two, and again does not hook the leg. And that might have just cost big money right here tonight. As we are approaching the five minute mark. Five minutes have elapsed. Ten as right there on cue, Brandon Matheny announces it. But these two men in there for five minutes has to feel like good 10 15. And now Banks who looks to catch a second wind, now attempts to suck the life out of Marcellus Prime. As look at him lift up Prime and then drive him right into the turnbuckle. Now comes out and there's a belly to belly suplex. This could do it, bags one, two, and again does not hook the leg. And if you're Jerry Stefanitas on the outside and you're doing some coaching, you might want to instruct Benjamin Banks to hook the leg because that is now the third pinfall in a row where he could have sealed the deal but was unable to get the win. As Banks methodically picks up Marcellus Prime, sends him for a ride. And Prime with the big splash off the ropes and takes out big money as Marcellus Prime on the comeback trail, getting this crowd rallied behind him. Now zeroing in on his target, Benjamin Banks gets back to his feet. Jerry Stefanitsa shouting instructions. Prime charges it. Oh! And he misses him. And I believe his shoulder hit that steel ring post. And Banks takes him down with the clothesline. And that mistake might have just cost Marcellus Prime big time. As Banks drags him over to the corner. And it looks like it could be a big money bomb right here. As Banks gets a bow, Marcellus Prime was playing possum. He turns around and the top rope spine buster. Down goes Banks. Prime looks to leg one, two, three, and Marcellus Prime stays undefeated. The time of the fall, six minutes and fifty-nine seconds. Your winner, Marcellus Prime. So the power, strength, and perseverance. Stand tall 
as Marcellus Prime outsmarts Benjamin Banks, connects with that top rope spine buster, and gets the one, two, three for the huge win here tonight. As Marcellus Prime Thanking the great fans of BCW as he exits the ringside area. You have to think, in just about six weeks' time, July 29th, 7.30 p.m. bell time, the 11th annual Liberty Lottery match, Marcellus Prime has to be considered one of the top contenders to walk out of there with a title shot at any championship of his choosing within the calendar year. As Jerry Stefanitis has a microphone, and what could he possibly have to say after this loss by Benjamin Banks? Hey, hey, hey. Get up. Get up. Hey, I said get up. Get up. Get up to your feet. Look at me. Look at me. When I sang your praises at the Lutz Cup and you went all the way to the finals, what did you do? You choked. When we got in the ring with George Pantis and that stupid clown, and we got in the ring with him, what happened? You choked again. What happened tonight, huh? What happened tonight? You know, you're supposed to be the favorite to win the Liberty Lottery next month in this building. You're supposed to be the favorite. You're over 400 pounds. What did you do with that guy? He's only been here twice. You choked a third time, and nobody does that to me. Look at me when I'm talking to you. Oh, wow. Oh, no. It's gonna be like that, huh? Okay. Hey. You think you can win the Liberty Lottery? Do it by yourself. As Jerry Stefanitsis, it appears as if he's just abandoned Benjamin Banks. And there's clear dissension in the ranks amongst Jerry Stefanitsis, Benjamin Banks, and perhaps Brandon Scott. As Jerry said, Benjamin Banks looks to be a favorite in the Liberty Lottery come July 29th. But now, he may need to do it all alone.